Hi guys, this is your Petal Exotic and welcome back to our channel. Hi, um, welcome back. Um, it's been a long time that since uh, I did upload some videos due to some things that I need to settle up. But right now, here I am, and back to the business. So, um, today, uh, as what you can hear, there's a lot of noise around my house. Well, um, uh, you know what, guys, it's the weekend today, and there are a lot of people in their house, they're having fun and relaxing uh, due to the weekend. Or since it is Sunday, it is a week weekend, and especially there is a dog or a puppy crying out loud um, on the neighborhood. Maybe they didn't give a food to their pet. Well, it seems to be they are not so responsible owner. Okay, so um, today uh, I've saw that there are a lot of posts that um, some people confuse between um, super hypo and a patternless eclipse. Alright, so um, for this video, I'm going to discuss to you guys, or I'm going to explain to you the difference between um, the patternless and a super hypo um, leopard gecko. Alright, so in this one, or this one on front of you, is, um, it is a, a patternless or a, a max no patternless radar. Yes, as you can see, um, it might be that you get you confused and saying that this is a tangerine actually guys um this is not a super hypo tangerine or hypo tangerine or um uh, a high bino but this one is a pattern less yes so you know um some of the mutation is being locked with uh with some panomorph um especially on the eclipse so some of the eclipses being born without patterns and that is why we call the patternless. And um, same ways on the other type of le the leopard gecko, especially on the normals, because some of the normals being born um, lesser spots, which is what we call the hypo, and some has um, totally don't have spots in their body and this is the one that we call um, uh, a super hypo which is um, lesser melanin to their body. So that is why we call it hypomelanistic. And the reverse of the hypomelanistic is the black knife, which is the uh, hypermelanistic. So the, don't confuse between super hypomelanistic and the hypomelanist, uh, hypermelanistic. All right. <clears throat> so um, for this one, uh, I'm going to show you the other type of leopard gecko that I have here. Right, stay there. All right, so I have here a super hypo. Actually, this is this type of little gecko is not just super hypo tangerine character, but this one is an eclipse. So as you can see, this. I have a little is so weird. You think he is an albino, but you saw the tail. There are a lot of black spots. But if you're going to see clearly on their eyes, see closely, look closely on their eyes, the eyes is so clear, just like the albino, but it doesn't. It doesn't have any albino, um, or it is not a visible albino. Yeah, for this one. So, um, I know guys that some of you are so confused about this leopard gecko, but this one is actually an eclipse. Yeah, so you know, um, some eclipses do have a partial um, eclipse eye, which is uh, what we call the snake eye, but this one is not a snake eye, but it is an Abyssinian eye, which is um, being coined to an eclipse genes. Yes. All right, so as you can see, since I said this one is an eclipse, some of you will think that this is a patternless eclipse. No, it is not, guys. Because um, this one is being born with a band. 
so the, the previous owner or the breeder of this one is Peter Parker which is one of our admin on our group which is um, Philippine uh, Le legit Philippine Nepardeco I don't know if this is the correct name of the group that we have so this one is being born with a band yes so meaning it is not totally a patternless then until you grow up um, the bands will fade away and they were getting some few spots then after all when they uh, get on the adult stage um, all of those spots will gone especially on their head so it is, it is why we call them uh, Balti because it does, doesn't have any spots on their head yeah but on this one there are a minimal sign of eclipse uh, it doesn't have a white nose and the the twos as you can see, the toes of this the projecto is not so prominent, uh, just like the um, common eclipse. But they have white toes actually, but it's not so prominent. Yeah. So this one is being uh, has born with a band. So that is the difference of a super hypo or hypo to a patternless, because the patternless eclipse has born without any patterns or some have patterns but it's very minimal just like um two to three lines something like that on their bodies and when they grow up then it will gone yeah exactly that is, that is what will happen to patternless eclipse so unlike to the super hypotangerine character um they have bands so it depending on how they was born or how they was produced and i know some of the eclipse has being coined <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, to 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 a patternless trait. Yes, because um, some of the eclipse being born with a, uh, as a patternless, and it doesn't have any pattern when it get born. So uh, actually, this type of this super hypotangent character that I have here it is a pair. I have two of them. The one that I have here is a snake eye. It looks like um, a false marble eye. This, this one's a little bit skittish yeah it has a, 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 a marble look like eye and this um, a, a partial eclipse or a snake eye yeah this is also a super hypotangerine character eclipse yeah so um, as you can see uh, it still have a, a mark for bands when they born yeah and it's a little bit green because this gecko is a hot gecko line that's why it had a green pants on her body so this one is also considered a super hypotangerine character Baldi eclipse so it's not a patternless some people posted this type of leopard gecko they have this type of leopard gecko and they declared it as a patternless eclipse but if you're going to ask them for the hatchling picture of this leopard gecko then uh, they show you a leopard gecko with a band meaning those the protective is not totally a patternless, but it is a super hypo. So um, patternless is very different to a super hypo, especially on the word itself. Yeah. So super hypo, if you're going to search that word, it's saying that there are minimal melanin on their body. So lesser melanin, meaning meaning those. Spots on their body, uh, as you can see on their tail, that is the spots what I am repairing with. Uh, those are very minimal on their body. So this is the melanin, as you can see, the spots. This is produced by the melanin or chemicals on the body that produces some colors or uh, a dark colors. So that's it's very minimal to their body. So that is why we call them a hypomelanistic. All right. So I like for the pattern this. For the patternless, they are totally don't have any spots in their body, especially when they are born. Yes, because the name itself is pattern. Uh, so let me show you one of my examples for the patternless here. Because the one that I showed you earlier, it's a radar and it has a snow. But even though he it has a snow, but this is amazing that it doesn't have any pattern in their body because um Mostly of the snows have spots in the body. All right. So this one that I have here is a female raptor. Yeah. This one has born without any spots on their body, but they have a pattern just 
a broken line like this, but still we consider this one as a patternless since it is a raptor. Because being patternless is being coined uh, to the genes to be clips. And some of them are called as a, pa uh, a pattern a patternless tri or stripe patternless eclipse because they have a stripe when or when they or the, the, when they born then they grow up it suddenly disappeared such as the like this one as you can see they this female has some scratches in their head and their tail because this one's being bred to my to my large male don't worry guys this is natural to the breeding as long as the bites is not fatal and the, then the other leopard gecko what happened okay so so um since um this leopard gecko is burnt we all born as an eclipse and doesn't have any pattern then this is considered as a patternless as you can see but if a super high of or super hypo melanistic leopard gecko is being born they also have bands or either um a, a, a bold stripe or reverse stripe or a jungle pattern or apparent depending on how uh, they are burned or born or what type of pattern that they have so that is also considered as a super hypo once those patterns are uh, faded or all those spots are faded when they grow up okay so um, since uh, this leopard gecko have a carrot tail might be also this will get wrong on, on you guys or something playing on your mind that why this leopard gecko have a carrot tail just ignore the bruises why does this leopard gecko have a, a car tail? Actually, patternless also have a car tail itself, or they have a version of a car tail. That is what we call a red striped car tail. Yes, and um, super hypotangerine or super hypo leopard gecko, they also have their own uh, version of uh, a car tail. But actually, it is not on the super hypo itself, but it is on the tangerine. Tangerine have a ray hind carrot tail yes but sometimes those two carrot tails it looks like the same but if you can only identify what type of carrot tail the leopard gecko through the mutation itself especially if this one is a patternless eclipse then you can identify that the carrot tail they have is a red striped carrot tail for the raptors it's same ways also even though it's being combined to a to a temporal albino because some of the albinos have a, re a red striped carrot tail too because some of the temporal albino being born as a patternless yes so um if you saw a super hypotangerine carrot tail look for gecko and and you saw that they have a carrot tail on their tail then that is what we call as a ray hind carrot tail all right so some um, experts, or most of the experts, doesn't consider if the carotel of the leopard gecko didn't get uh, at least 15%. So this one might be didn't get 15%, uh, but I don't know. Still, I will consider this one as a super hypotangerine character. So this one has um, an ultimate um, uh, polygenic because um, this is not just a black cross as a brand of the tangerine, but also a hot vehicle line. So I'm I'm hoping a best hatchling for these two, uh, from the male and this female that I have. Uh, I tried to breed them, but it seems to be this female is not ready yet because uh, most of their eggs or all of their eggs are slug, and it it cannot be incubated well. And since we gone on the maximum earlier, um, let me show you the different type of the maximals with a combined of a super hypo and a patternless also all right so the one that pro of front of you guys it is um a hypo tangerine maximal yes so this one is born with a pattern with a bands or with a bands which is only um white and black and white color so well uh, actually, it's more being identified at first as a math no, but suddenly when they grow up, this leopard gecko produces a tangerine trait on their body, and uh, the spots are drastically 
gone on their bodies too, which is why we consider her at first as a super hypo because all those spots in their body has gone. So uh, yeah, we identified her as a super hypo tangerine mass no. But right now it seems to be there are some changes in this level data because there are some spots growing up or appearing on on the spinal line of this leopard gecko or on the dorsal line yeah so right now we're going to consider this one as a hypo tangerine masto so this one is a patternless or totally a patternless leopard gecko this is also a masto but it is a patternless yeah there are some masno patternless and also some masno hypo or super hypo tangerine. This is the difference of these two, yeah, as you can see. It's almost the same on the first look, yeah. But if you know the original breeder or the original breeder has already cleared you the parents and the genetics of these two, then you will get surprised. Yes. So this one actually is an albino. Uh, that's why you're seeing a brown spots on their tail on, on, uh, on its tail and the other one is non-albino non that's why it's black but if you're going to look this way it's almost the same all right so this is all the discussion that i have for you guys just to make you wake up hey wake up yeah uh why uh, are you considering the Super Hypo Leopard Gecko as a patternless just because it doesn't have a pattern it is also a patternless but no you can only see that uh, if the pattern, if the Leopard Gecko is a patternless once they born without any pattern because Super Hypo Leopard Gecko as being born with the bands or either um, a jungle pattern reverse stripe or a bold stripe pattern or uh, an aberrant as long as they have pattern when they born Yes, those are the, some any types of a pattern of a leopard gecko as it signifies that uh, they are super hypo or hypo when those spots or pa are, uh, spots on their pattern are gone when they grow up. Yeah, unlike for the patternless, it doesn't have any pattern in their body. Sometimes um, you may confuse about um, the Murphy patternless because yeah, the, uh, when they're born they look like a pattern and actually those just are marks or a signature mark of the Murphy's patternless, but when they uh, when they grow up, it's already gone. But it doesn't mean that they also are um, a, a super hypo uh, type of lever gecko because this is being coined to that genes, especially to the blizzard. But the blizzard doesn't have any pattern when they're born, actually. Yeah, it's totally patternless. So guys, don't confuse those type of a panamorph okay those are just a polygenic game so if you do have some much research then it will wake you up all right so this is our video all about and until the next time that i'm going to upload my new video see you guys all right so just a, a quick recap from uh, to you guys so um, for the patternless, the leopard gecko is being born without any pattern, but some, uh, as you can see, there are some minimal uh, patterns, just like a broken line, but actually it's not considered as uh, any form of pattern, just like um, jangle or aberrant, but they doesn't have any pattern actually. So, um, and the super hypotangerine or hypotangerine leopard gecko, they do have bands, especially some tangro patterns, which is reverse stripe or um, a bold stripe or um, an aberrant or a jungle patterns. So those are what we considered a hypo or super hypo once this leopard gecko is being born with those patterns. Okay, so just to be clear to you guys, that's all. So um, see you in my next video guys, goodbye.